So, hi everyone. I'm gonna try to do this as fast and as informative as possible um, based on the information that I've gathered from almost 3000 comments. I haven't been able to skim uh, over all of them since my inbox is currently broken and even the Reddit thread uh, breaks on me. So uh, I haven't had the chance to read all of it, but I'm at this point pretty sure that I know uh, in what further direction I can point you guys and make your lives a little easier on what to expect and uh, maybe a few fixes that uh, have been drowned in the flood of comments. Uh, first of all, uh, thank you to all of you uh, who are posting your specs and um, keep an open discussion with other people, help helping them uh, or, or trying to push things further that you found. Uh, I'm gonna try to put this uh, in this video as much as I can without uh, pulling it and uh, pulling it too long. So the possible benefits that we've seen definitely are strong FPS gains. And those are up to 50%. Better stability and less jitter. So even if your FPS don't rise um, super high, uh, it's, it's very possible that in the background you have a lot more stability in some areas. And between cutscenes or when loading the game, um, I've had this myself to an extreme you have sometimes better load times and this can be quite significant for me personally. It was uh, from 10, 20 seconds to 2 seconds. So here is the condensation of what I've learned so far. Uh, new processors seem to be fed with the correct data, with the correct initialization values. So Ryzen's behave very well uh, in this, in this uh, area. Uh, Intels can, at e even very new Intels, sometimes can get more performance out of this. Especially my 4th gen i7, uh, which falls under this category, benefits greatly from this. So if you have an old, older gen CPU, definitely try this. If you want to have a look first uh, what you can expect, uh, try to control F or search in layman terms your processor, your GPU uh, in the red thread. Uh, a lot of people post references, uh, what rigs they have and, and what they got, so maybe that can help you um, find what's possible for you personally. There's been a few funny people uh, saying if you try to delete the file, nothing happens. And they also put in impossible or very very low values, it's like one kilobyte, then it still boots for them and, and it still works and this file is not read and this is all placebo. Um, these people are wrong. I'm very positive at this point that the engine reads the file and if you enter something that's just just bullshit um, it just says okay screw this file and it initializes you with defaults so you will not be negatively affected uh, if you put in random things or just delete it all but please don't come to the thread and say it doesn't work because there's thousands of people at this point confirming that it does something. There's also something I found that helped some people um, that they confirmed that it works for them, uh, which is the serial configuration. I will talk about this in a bit. Uh, if you say it's placebo, it's just possible the changes are very minimal for your setup or that your um, your, your uh, hardware seems to be fed correctly right away. So for example, if you, if you have an i9 and a 39, uh, 3080 and you say, hey, this did nothing for me, well, w what do you want? Like your, your process and GPU is already properly used, you're not gonna have that, mu that much of, an, of a gain from this. Uh, let's come to the troubleshooting and additional fixes. Like the four or five basic points that I've uh, learned from, from, guy, from people talking about it in the thread. And first of all, <laughs> I've seen a lot of people asking what editor should I use? It's not put fine, it's but put fine. Uh, should I use Excel, <laughs> which was very funny. Um, you can use all of them, I think. All of them are safe technically, um, but I just want to say, if you don't have an edit of choice, download VS Code. Uh, I'm going to put the entirety of this text in, into the Reddit post at the very bottom, so you can click all these links. Uh, VS Code is a really good editor, but it, it should be safe with any editor that you choose. Running it as admin can sometimes help. Um, there's been people that say they've changed the file and nothing happened, but as soon as they ran it as an admin, it, it worked. Um, also, please make sure to download the latest NVIDIA drivers. I feel like some people don't have this or think it, it, doesn't, it doesn't matter. It does a lot. <laughs> 
and also please pay attention to the formatting in the CSV. Uh, I'm not sure how critical the CSV is with uh, with the formatting, but just make sure you you do a at least somewhat proper job uh, of editing the file. A few things that I uh, that I think cross-linked to this thread was Yamashi's performance overhaul uh, mentioned by Splunk Monkey. Thank you. Um, this is an extensive and a bit more um, deeper approach to optimize uh, Cyberpunk. Uh, this changes a few things in how processes behave on a very low level. If you're inter interested in this and my changes to the file did not help you, definitely check this out. It mm, might give you a few extra FPS and I think it can help on both platforms, both Intel and, and, and Ryzen. Also, Holmes AMD hex edit can help Ryzen users sometimes. Uh, this has been mentioned by Abneil, thank you. So if you wanna maybe get a few more FPS on your on your Ryzen, you can try the hex edit. There's been both positive and negative reviews about this. They they say sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Just give it a try. And the very po important point is, if your PC be, be starts to be strange, please lower the pulse. Try the serial config. I will. Uh, explain how that works later uh, or just lower the pools by like a gigabyte or something or half a gigabyte I don't know because um, if you have for example audio crackles then I'm, I'm, I'm almost certain that something in your PC uh, is trying to access the memory and it doesn't have enough and then your performance of, of Windows generally just goes down and I think that's the result from it and many other things the last bit here is uh, like the, the question that has been asked, the, not the most, but it, 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 it's among the top. Um, how do I calculate these values? Like how do I know what to put here and there? I mean, I already explained it very shortly on the thread, but I will do it in a, in a, in a slightly more uh, non-tech-savvy fashion for a broader audience to understand what's happening here. So. If you want to have a, a reference of what your PC is capable of, if you don't know this already, then you can open Task Manager and go to Performance. If you don't see this, um, because sometimes some people have never opened Task Manager or didn't really bother, you need to click on More Details and then click on, click on Performance. And then you have your CPU here, which for my case is the 4790K. Uh, my memory is 32GB of DDR3 RAM. And my GPU at the very bottom here is a GeForce GTX 1080 Ti. Uh, for your RAM, for the CPU pool value, you can basically split this in half. So 32 GB is 16 GB. You can technically up this to 24 GB. Uh, but I don't think it, it gives you that much of a benefit. You can try. Maybe it does. Um, but I think... If you give any game a 16 GB of, of space to, to breathe, uh, it should be good. Um, <laughs> I, I just put this up here, so you have some basic reference of what you should put in. But I think 16 GB is, is just fine. On 16 GB it would be 8 GB up to 12. You can put this up to your personal preferences. And on 8 GB of RAM, I think you already have a pretty bad outside on, on, on Cyberpunk, but please just try to forget you, but maybe it does something for you. I've seen users with very bad rigs that said, hey, this helped me a lot, even though my specs aren't the best, which is very great news. And for the uh, GPU, uh, you can look down here. The dedicated GPU memory is uh, the VRAM, the, the memory that your GPU has, which in my case for the 1080 Ti is 11 gigabytes. You can put in up to 11 gigabytes. Uh, for me personally, I've had very strange crashes sometimes. Uh, for example, my Windows just turns blue and it just freezes. It doesn't really crash or anything. It doesn't blue screen. It just freezes, uh, which is very spooky. But uh, it, it really doesn't do anything. I think. Just so you know, if the entered values uh, do things you don't want to, um, just just lower the values by one gigabyte. So let's come to the full location. Basically in Steam, it's Steam Apps Common and then Cyberpunk. GG Galaxy, it's under the games folder and under Epic Games, 
it should be in this folder right here because Fortnite is also located right here. So when you're in the Cyberpunk folder, this folder is opened right here. There's a couple of folders in it, archive, bin, engine, r6, and a few files. Uh, the folder you're interested in is engine, you open that, and then in engine itself, there is a config folder, you open that as well. And then right here, you see in the config folder, there's memory pool budget.csv. And this is my file. Normally when you open this file for the first time, it looks like this. There's a few comments up here. These two describe uh, magic integers. And this is uh, basically a regular expression saying what is allowed inside the columns of PC, the Rango and Orbis. Because the Rango and Orbis are the platforms used for PS4 and Xbox, um, these two totally don't matter to you. Um, this file was definitely not put in by intention. I think it just slipped through a dev uh, pushing the wrong branch to production, which can happen. <laughs> in this case, not, not the best, but hey, they're, they're, they're still people. Um, don't be too hard with them. But yeah, let's go over pool CPU and pool GPU. Um, I will later test if I can find more optimal configurations by screwing around with these pools down here, because I think these can also be optimized with uh, better or larger pools here, because there's, for example, a double buffered frame or pool engine or pool ref count, and these are very promising, uh, because if these two already do what they do, <laughs> confirmed by thousands of people, I wouldn't be surprised if changing this and making this bit down here more optimal for like realistic values on a PC, I can see this even gaining a few more extra FPS, maybe, or more stability, I don't know. But let's go get to the, the most interesting part that I think you clicked this video for. How do I, wh where do I go from here? When I open this file, what, what do I do? Basically, you're only interested in pool CPU and pool GPU, and these two values right here. As you can see, these are the same basic values across the board. They're all 1.5 gigabytes and 3 gigabytes via the GPU. And what you want to do is you use what I talked about before here. You enter the values that you think are reasonable for your rig. For me personally, it's 16 gigabytes for the CPU because I've got 32 gigabytes of RAM and I've lowered this one gigabyte down from my 11 because I think this might fix my, my random freezes that I have. But honestly, 10 gigabytes is still really fine. Um, you can still just put in what I originally said um, with the, the max amount of your uh, GPU, which would be 11, because a lot of people tried this at the maximum, and they said it worked just fine. There's no crashes, but it's that there's a lot uh, on one side and the same amount of people on the other <laughs> saying it works or it, had, it crashes sometimes or it has weird bugs. So if you want to be safe just put it like one gigabyte down from the max of your GPU. And when you did that, I can do it live here. Let's say you wanna up this to 12 gigabytes here and eight here. Uh, what I do is I, oh, make sure to put gigabytes here, that's important, to just fix the formatting here. C press Control S, so just click File and Save. And you're done. Uh, just boot up the game, see if anything changes, and if it did, nice. If not, then maybe try to see if uh, you got more stability or faster loading times or something. If if it doesn't work, try the other fixes that I mentioned before. Um, if not, then I guess you're just unlucky, and you either already got the optimal performance possible for your rig or you're just in a bad spot and really unlucky it just doesn't work. Let's talk about the serial configuration that I mentioned before. Uh, if you want a safer approach on this entire thing or have problems, there's one more thing you can try. I personally do not recommend this right now because I'm not sure, I, uh, more like I have a bad feeling that this might also not behave as intended or not for everybody. So I recommend to do it uh, the hard-coded way, so to say. But um, if you want to try the zero config, what you can do is use this magic integer 
up here, the zero, which says that the pool will be dynamically uh, initialized at runtime. And the way to do this is just replace the values up here with the zero, fix the formatting, and the zero is here as well. And you're done. If you want to uh, pull this one step further, uh, you can also put a zero here. And um, this would, in theory, initialize all these pools on here with a flexible uh, computed budget. It's worth a shot if you want to try uh, a safer uh, version of this or, or if you have any issues, as, as I said before. Um, but right now, I, I really wouldn't recommend it. It's just an option that I found that's possible. So yeah. Um, if I find more, or if I find an um, optimal configuration for the things done here, I will update the post once more. But so far, I hope this video helps a lot of people uh, being confused by my somewhat technical note or findings, um, which are probably not that, that user-friendly for people that aren't too comfortable poking around in files like this. So yeah, that's it.